Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be doing a video on how to uh, make a Windows 10 ISO. So there's three things we need to do. Download the Windows 10 tool. You must have 8 gigabits of flash drive to go ahead and install that ISO on that USB and run the tool. The download link is right there. Also will be in the description box below. Don't forget to check out the other videos. All right, so let's get going. Go ahead and go to your favorite browser. Mine is Google Chrome. Basically, go to Google and type in uh, Windows 10 download. And once you do that, as you see, the first option should be fine. Uh, go ahead and click on the link that shows up Windows 10 download disk image ISO file. Okay. Once you go ahead and do that, go ahead and click on download the tool now. And it will download a small setup file right there as you see at the bottom left hand corner. It takes it does take uh, a few seconds depending upon your internet. So either you can click on the file or go to the installation and right click and run as administrator, which kind of makes sure that uh, that you're running with the full right. So if you don't have any issues uh, going forward, so I like to run things as admin, so uh, you you don't have to stop in the middle of doing stuff. So. At this point, the installation tool should pop up. As you see, it is getting things ready. All right, so that step does take a minute. There we go. We're here on terms and conditions. Go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. And you'll have to wait for the next prompt to show up. Okay, so the, finally the prompt moved on. So at this point, what we're going to do is go ahead and click on the Create Installation Media and go ahead and click on Next. And at this point, if you have this recommended option, go ahead and uncheck that and select both. So in, in the case, if you want to use a 32-bit or 64-bit, it downloads both. At this point, also go ahead and insert your USB flash drive into your laptop or your desktop and go ahead and click Next and go ahead and click on the first icon, USB flash drive. As it says, it needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. Go ahead and click next. As you see, my uh, D drive is here. So I've inserted, inserted my flash drive and there it is. There's not, nothing inside at this point. So what we're going to do is go ahead and click on next. And at this point, what's, what's going to happen, it's going to start downloading Windows 10. Now, this process is going to take a few seconds. So be patient. Let it run its uh, do its thing. And I'll be right back as it as it uh, is almost done there. OK. Okay, guys, as you see, we are at about 99% progress, and it has taken about 20 minutes. Now, this may go faster or slower, depending upon your internet speed. Now, the second stage of this is it's going to copy the created ISO to your flash drive. So, let's be patient. As, as the one of the authors says, best things in life come with patient. So, let's be patient. Another, I guess... Two to three, three or more minutes and it should be done so I'm gonna pause the video and be right back okay guys so it looks like on the second stage the progress is around 68% to verify it's working you can go to your Windows Explorer and uh, once you go and go there going to click on this PC and you'll see uh, your USB flash drive renamed and you see it's using 13.9 gigs out of 14.4 and if you keep refreshing this there's this threshold or, or amount of free gigabyte should go down as it's, it's making its progress so a couple more minutes here guys and uh, we should be done all right as you guys can see we're at 99 percent to check off your progress at 99% also you can go in your Windows Explorer this PC and look at the set of files as you see they're both in there x64 uh, and x86 so this is 64 bit and this is 32 bit um, so we're just waiting for uh, the prompt to say 100% and finish so make sure you guys don't forget to like, like subscribe and share uh, I'll be coming out with more on how to videos on a lot of more things on Windows 10 and Xbox and other things like that. So we'll just wait for this progress to complete and then we'll conclude the video. Okay, as you guys can see, the USB flash drive is ready. So as you guys, you guys can see, this concludes our tutorial and your files are right here on the USB stick. So you can install it on any machine and install Windows 10. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. Have a good one. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.